Hi, Lee. This is Christian. So I want to spend uh, some time to go over this assignment with you. This is assignment six for the React course. And I know I had asked you to do it um, to redo and it's still not correct. So uh, probably there's a disconnect somewhere. I want to make sure you understand this process clearly. OK, so the idea is to uh, pass data from a parent down to the child and then have the child you know, component manipulate the data and send the data back up to the parent. So the effect will be very similar to what you see here. This is, this is your version and it works perf perfectly as expected, but the implementation is not correct. So I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, in your code. Um, here, I have your code open here. You have a, um, this is the root component. Uh, you have a child component called show hide, which is also a class component. Uh, in this case, um, you could totally use a function component, which is uh, you know probably easier to to implement, but that's fine. So what you have here, the app.js, you have a state, but you don't manage the state here. Okay, so this is where you would uh, manage the show and hide uh, state for the button and the text to display on the button as well, right? So um, uh, we want to uh, you know fix that, and then you have a uh, tag here, which is show hide, and then you include in here between the tags, the flight list. This is something that I have not uh, um, covered in the course and probably won't because this is uh, something completely called a slot. And this feature here, if you look at it, it's very similar to this, right? So, so you just have your custom tags, you pass data in between the tags. And this, again, this is a slot, so we'll probably learn at a different time. Uh, I don't think we have uh, we'll cover this class. So you don't really need this because this is not going to be visible to the site at all because in order to render this content to your child class, you have to have a place, a, a key somewhere to render that data, okay? So you're not really passing any data down to the parent child, okay? So your button, it shows up here. So I mean, just to illustrate that, show you, I can remove this completely off like this. Okay, just your regular tag. And also you don't really need that, that um, the braces here because just showing the button to the view. And let me go ahead and do this. You can see the result as you can see right here, right? It worked just like before, it still functioned correctly. Again, just to show you that with something here, it's not gonna be visible here at all, okay? Uh, so, and it is linked correctly. I, I can show you that it does crash, right? Okay, so we'll illustrate that. So now I wanna pass data from this component down to the child. The, so it's the show and hide here, uh, you manage the table locally because you put it down here, right? So I want to do is you don't want to do this. You want to manage the table like you had in the original version. So right here, you would have, you would do this, right? So this dot state that a variable called show table, if that is true, then you want to show the flight list like this. Okay? That is what you want to do. So the state sh should be matched up here. The list should be shown here and not in the local version here. So this will be removed. Okay. So now we're going to pass data from this parent. I'm going to create in the state here, two variables. Let me close this, give some space. Uh, I have one called a show table that will, we'll set it to true initially. And then the button text is, let's say we'll put a uh, hide, right? That's what you will see here. So now I'm going to pass this, pass this two data down to the child component here. Before I do that, though, I have to have a way to update the data in the parent component. So you have a handle change here. I'll leave that is, I'm not going to use it. I'll create another one here. Uh, this, I will call it, um, should we, what should we call it? Maybe call it the handle, uh, handle um, uh, show table like that. And I'll use the arrow function. So I don't have to register in the, uh, in the class space. So if you use the regular function like this, you have to register and bind it here. Error functions, you don't have to do this process. It will just work. So here, we will receive two things. I'm just gonna copy and paste it just quicker. I need the table, the status, either true or false coming from the child component. And I need the new text, either show or hide based on the child component being sent. So once you get that data, all you do here is just you basically set the state for the show table and button text, right? So very simple. You change the state. Once the chase state has been touched or changed, it will trigger a re-render re of the show high button and then uh, and also show the content, right? So therefore, I need to pass down to this show hide the, this function so you can invoke uh, within the shell component. I need to also pass down these two variables as well. And you can do that, you know, individual variables as a single property 
or um, individual properties, or you can bind it to a, uh, a object. However you do it, that's completely fine. But I'll do it just you know separately so you can see. So I'm gonna pass down the handle show uh, table function. You can use the same name, very common. Um, but you can change it, doesn't really matter, right? So, so this will be the properties that attach to the props object. I pass one down. I also need, um, I'm gonna do this, you can have uh, room to show here. I need the um, button text. It's gonna be assigned to this state, that button text, right? And also need the show table status. So this, oops, oh, this, that state that uh, show table. Okay, so I pass these three data down to the child component so I can, when I receive them, I can process them. Okay, so this is what I mean by passing data down to a child component. Same thing here, the flight list. If you're gonna pass data down, you would put X equals something here, right? You passing data down to the child component, same idea. So now once you pass this data down to the show high component, what do we do? So you're using a class component, which is okay. Um, I'm not gonna do any of the constructor here, okay? We don't need to manage any state here locally. All we have to do is you manipulate the show high text and then change your true and false for the show table and send that up. So I'm not using a um, constructor, so I have to make sure that you use the error function here like this. If you don't, you have to find it, right? Which you did have initially, but I removed that. And then I'm gonna change all these here. We don't need that. Um, I'm going to set two global variable in the global space. Uh, those will be the button text equal to this props dot button text. That's the guy right here. And also the show table is this props. Oh, props dot show table. And those will be the value I use. And then down here, it'll be just this dot show button. And toggle show will be as is. So you can see, you know, it works already. But when I click on it, it crashes because I haven't implemented that yet. Okay, so it does work. So I can just to show you if I change that to like from the parent component to like the hides, okay, it should reflect that on the view as you can see right here. Okay, so that's working beautifully. And again, this table here is now render being rendered from here. Okay, so if I change the table uh, to false, you're going to see that table should go away. Okay, will actually mistype. Okay, right? So we're gonna initialize it to true at first. Okay, so now when I click on this table, uh, toggle high show function, I'm going to do a couple things. So I'm not gonna do this part here. First, I need to change the uh, show table to the reverse of its state. So this show table is equal to the reverse of this show table, right? If it's true, then it's false. If it's false, then true now. And then what about the button text? We'll have to check it, right? So this button text, I use the turning operator. If this show table is true, right, that's what it means. If it's true, then replace the text with the word high. If it's false, then it should show, show, show. That is the text. I'm gonna pass these two data up the uh, chain. So you pass it by going to this props dot a handle uh, show table. I think that's what we call, right? Uh, make sure you, you call correctly right here. Handle show table. This is the function you need to access. So we're gonna double click right here just to make sure I got it correctly. And then I need to pass the uh, this dot show table state this dot button text. And this is how you pass data up the chain. Pass data up, okay, to parent. So it calls this function via the props object because objects are references. That's how you're able to access the function up in the chain here. And the only get there is you have to go through the props object. Like all of these are through the props, right? So it's gonna pass this data up to this function right here. It receives the state. If it's true, then it will be true. And then, and the text will be changed here as well. And you update the state once that has been changed and then we renders everything. Okay, so everything, if everything's work correctly, it should behave like your normal uh, app before, as you can see. Right, it, it had the same effect, but the implementation is now different. So um, I, I will, you know, uh, upload this for you so you can take a look at it, uh, study it, and view it, and uh, kind of, you know, go over that and see how you can actually um, process this easily. So I mean, 
again, uh, you're using a class component. You can easily use a function component so you don't have to go through this, this, this stuff like that. It'll be very similar, except you just move all the this and it will just work in the, in the function component. Okay, so uh, thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, let me know. And I look forward to seeing your, uh, your work and your project. Thank you.